In other news, why? That is one big question a family has for the man accused of setting their mother on fire. That woman is now in the hospital recovering from her injuries. The family tells me if it wasn't for the quick actions of her young granddaughter, she may not be alive today. She was trying to take off her clothes because the fire was on her. Ten-year-old Nevaeh Gallegos is a hero. Any ten-year-old could have easily froze up or, or, you know, just went into shock. Sadly, she witnessed something no child should ever witness last Tuesday evening. Her grandmother, 52-year-old certified nursing assistant Deborah Romo, just got off work when her ex-boyfriend, 43-year-old Roberto Cocanon, began arguing with her. Nevaeh says she was in her room when all of a sudden... I heard my grandma screaming. Then she was on the couch, but I saw her on the floor. Then he was standing and pouring gasoline on her, and she started crying. And I pushed them and I tried to hit him, but he still continued doing it. An affidavit states Coquelin allegedly used a lighter to light Romo on fire. Start crying because I couldn't find my grandma in the smoke. That's when Navea grabbed her two-year-old sister, covered her face to prevent smoke inhalation, and then ran to get help. The family says they had to use mop water to extinguish the fire because... He cut the water off before he did this, so there was no water in the household. Romo is now in the hospital with burns over 35% of her body. She has burns from face, ears, arms, all the way down, second and third degree burns. They say Romo is a beautiful woman who worked 12-hour shifts seven days a week at Christa Santa Rosa. She loves her family and is deeply loved by many. The family says Romo was in an abusive relationship with Coquelin, but they never expected the abuse to go this far. He was arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon causing serious bodily injury and arson. I want him to sit in there and I want him to suffer the way my mom having to sit in the hospital and go through that pain. Romo's hero had this to say directly to her. I want to tell her I love her so much. Our, her family loves her, then her friends loves her, and we hope she can come home soon. Very tragic story right there. The family says that they are seeking counseling for Nevea because of this incident. They say Romo has a long road to recovery, but they plan to use her story to raise awareness about domestic violence. Coquelin remains in the Bear County Jail on a $500,000 bond.